Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. And Dr. Chu, um, in your prepared testimony, you state that with the New START Treaty, the science, technology, and engineering capabilities within the nuclear security enterprise will become even more important to sustaining the U.S. nuclear deterrent. Uh, President Obama, during the State of the Union this last year, said, today the discoveries taking place in our federally financed labs and universities could lead to new treatments that kill cancer cells but leave healthy ones untouched. Um, he goes on to say that we shouldn't gut these investments in our budget. Don't let other countries win the race to the future. Um, I'd like to focus on this theme of nurturing the scientific engineering capabilities of the NNSA laboratories. With the 2013 budget request, NNSA's budget will have increased about 10 percent from 2011. Yet over the same two-year time frame, the budget of Los Alamos National Laboratory will have decreased by about 10 percent. This is about a $300 million decrease in just two years and chokes the scientific and engineering capabilities at our lab. Because of these budget cuts, the lab has requested a voluntary reduction in force incentive program with the goal of eliminating 400 to 800 jobs. This reduces the true source of scientific and engineering capability. The men and women who have served the nation there who have the experience and training that is difficult and expensive to replace. And finally, a recent National Academies report warned that distrustful oversight by NNSA in which individual transactions are reviewed at every step is harming the vitality and long-term viability of the science and engineering capability at the NNSA labs. When you combine all of these distrustful and harmful oversight with a significant loss of personnel and reduction of funding over multiple years, you get a very damaging set of events that could do permanent harm to the lab and my district in the northern part of New Mexico. So, Mr. Secretary, um, I have a lot of respect for you, but I have a lot of concern as to what's happened with Los Alamos. Um, as I look at the budget, it looks like Los Alamos took a much greater hit than any of the, the other labs, and quite honestly, almost as much as the other labs combined. Uh, so, Mr. Secretary, what I'm looking for is some assurance and some long-term commitment. One, do we see how we can fix um, the arbitrary hits that look that were targeted to Los Alamos, as well as a commitment to Los Alamos National Laboratory? Well, certainly Los Alamos National Laboratory is, is an excellent laboratory, and but within our budget constraints and uh, going forward, we, we do have to make hard decisions, but it, 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 certainly Los Alamos is going to be uh, uh, an essential part of the future of the NSA laboratories. Um, those hard decisions are to be made, but we feel that they have uh, a, a, not only a very rich past, but an outstanding group of scientists in that, la in that laboratory, scientists and engineers in that laboratory, and will be a vital part of uh, the NNSA mission. I appreciate it, Mr. Secretary, and I look forward to hopefully meeting with you soon with Senator Bingaman. I know a request has gotten in with mm -hmm. yourself and Mr. Um, Agostino, and we look forward to having those conversations about the commitment to Los Alamos.